Yeah, thanks for the introduction. And I thought you're gonna do the presentation now as you started <laughs> to introduce the topic and motivate it. Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, skip firing as a challenge uh, in, in the modern powertrain. I, just a short overview about the talk. Yeah, we're gonna talk here about uh, why we wanna do, the, uh, do this, uh, what, is the, what is the reason, uh, what is the topic anyway about. Yeah. What is the challenge? Why do we look uh, in, into the torsion vibration for this? We have prepared some uh, case studies and then we will, we will conclude and look at uh, solutions. First of all, what, uh, what is this skip firing? Uh, yeah, skip firing is simply that we, if we have a six cylinder engine and we go into part load, we could uh, just reduce the fuel injection but uh, we can also just skip uh, part of the cylinders uh, and not fire them and reduce therefore the power outputs and uh, see this as a yeah as a reduced uh, power or torque uh, to the to the power takeoff so there are several strategies how this can be uh, implemented uh, one is to, uh, to, to just uh, skip one cylinder or to uh, rotate the cylinder that is being skipped. Uh, to have, uh, the other one is to have a, a fixed cylinder that is always left out. So if I have a, a four cylinder that I always uh, fire only every second cylinder, so that would uh, increase, of course, the, the, the issues for the non-fired cylinders as, uh, as they are not uh, not uh, kept warm in that uh, moment, or we could uh, do some kind of uh, bank deactivation in case of a, of a V engine. So we have uh, uh, shown here some scenarios. So this is um, basically uh, the different uh, approaches that can be used. So on the one hand, if we uh, just so we are firing all cylinders. The red ones are marking uh, the red dots is, are, are marking the cylinder uh, that is not uh, fired. Basically, here this would always be the six cylinder that is not fired. You see, and that's that's not a clever strategy. That's just uh, uh, trying something on the test, but that could be easily done. Um, the next one is uh, skipping one cylinder but rotating. So. Uh, just uh, take uh, cylinder five, uh, four, three, two, one, six to have here some some pattern, and uh, yeah, you can do this also uh, as uh, shown here with uh, with two cylinders or from cycle to cycle jump one cylinder, two cylinders, one cylinder, two cylinders. So there are uh, really different strategies uh, depending also on the loads that you want uh, to implement. But does that make sense? Yeah. Well, why should I do this effort? I just reduce the fuel injection and everything's fine. Yeah. And why, why do I need to challenge my powertrain, my, my hardware? Just, yeah, it's so easy. Less fuel is less power out. So we could do that also with that. But life is uh, not so easy. On, on gas engines, for example, if you go to very low loads, you have too high air content and you cannot, you can simply not fire up the engine. So uh, therefore, uh, for gas engines and very low loads, you need to find some, uh, some different solution. We learned today already that uh, everyone's looking for a higher efficiency and we need to um, to burn what we burn, we need to burn with high efficiency. So with the skip firing, we can increase the, the power output of the fired cylinders while we are not firing the others. So we keep the efficiency of the, uh, of the fired uh, cylinders high. And uh, that's in total a higher, um, uh, a higher fuel efficiency than we would have uh, without the skip firing strategy. And uh, the other topic is, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how famous it is here, but it's the methane slip. Uh, basically, uh, if we are always talking about CO2, but uh, methane is, uh, yeah, is more more evil than the CO2 because uh, the uh, contribution to uh, to global warming is 
even higher from the methane. So if we uh, if you're not uh, uh, if you're not uh, firing the, the cylinder with, uh, with its full power or its uh, dedicated power, we are releasing more methane to the, uh, to the environment. And this uh, in ship industry, and here maybe some in the audience might know better, but this will in future uh, count also to the emissions. So we need to reduce the, uh, the methane in the, uh, in the exhaust gas. But um, as we do this, we, we, there need to be some adjustments in the, in this, uh, in the calibration of the engine. And um, there is uh, currently um, uh, the, the main focus, uh, as I mentioned, this methane slip to do this, uh, uh, this keep firing in the uh, dual fuel engines uh, in marine application. There was in the in the past also in, in passenger cars and, and heavy duties this uh, skip firing or cylinder deactivation uh, present, but I think it's this is no longer uh, available on on recent uh, engines. What is uh, now the the challenge or what is the impact on the hardware? Yeah, we have basically a, a permanent. Uh, irregular uh, a pattern of combustion. So we are uh, purposely disturbing the regular firing of a, for example, inline six cylinder, which is a very nice uh, firing pattern, very smooth uh, uh, vibrations, but then we are disturbing it by, by not firing all cylinders equal. This somehow we need to uh, consider when we, uh, when we define or design the hardware. There is uh, usually the misunderstanding that um, a skip firing is same as a misfire, but a misfire is simply a misfire event, and then you, uh, then it's silent again, yeah, and then you have a misfire event maybe 200 cycles later again. Here we are doing this cycle for cycle for cycle for cycle. So this is much, this is an irregular pattern that is repeated after seven, uh, seven, eight, nine cycles. So it has again some regularity in the pattern, which introduces more stress to the components. We are wearing components unevenly, maybe. We are maybe overloading specific cylinders as one cylinder is fired all the time, the others maybe are not. We are loading the components due to torsional vibration more, and we might end up with some rough engine noise. So if we look now uh, on the uh, on our system, very simplified. Uh, we have here on the combustion engine itself, we are, uh, we are having deposits maybe from uh, low loaded cylinders, we get additional wear. We have local overloads or local uh, uneven loading of the system. If we look at the shaft system, this will be our focus in the stace car this, uh, stace, uh, case studies. Sorry. Um, we have here more impacts uh, on, on gears, we, uh, we have more noise, noise. we have uh, uh, torque peaks. So this is uh, uh, really the, the system that suffers most from, uh, from these uh, skip firing strategies. And therefore we need on the one hand to simulate these scenarios and we need to, uh, to select the correct strategy in thermodynamics and in torsional vibration. And we need to tailor make uh, the, the components for uh, these applications. Looking now into the uh, six cylinder application, here we see um, when we have, uh, uh, so comparing now here a, a misfiring uh, versus a skip firing strategy, we have on the, on the misfired. Uh, uh, engine, we have uh, a certain torque peak at 50% load. And if you compare the numbers for a skip firing scenario, then you immediately, immediately see the torque peaks are getting higher. So that means we need to protect here, or we at least need to consider this during the definition of the components that higher torque peaks might rise up. And uh, we see here um, that uh, a sum, so in this uh, diagram or in this uh, graph uh, where we see the 
uh, contribution of the several orders. We see in red the skip firings and the single orders are simply higher or can be higher um, than on a regular uh, firing pattern. So therefore it is uh, really essential to consider this in a uh, not in um, uh, to consider this in a, a, a time resolved uh, torsion vibration analysis and not to skip this uh, during the development. So if I'm comparing now uh, several uh, or two strategies um, for the uh, or basically three strategies. One is non-skipping 50% loads and two different uh, skip firing uh, scenarios, basically always the same uh, power and torque output. And if I take out the results that we received uh, for uh, for the uh, torque uh, amplitude on the on the rubber coupling, uh, we see here 50% no skip firing. The synthesis it's here somewhere in um, below one uh, kilonewton meter. If I do the same for skip firing scenarios, we are a factor ten higher. So we are really highly loading the component here. And you might ask now, yeah, how does this compare to a standard operation? Hundred percent load, no skip firing. The component is tailor made for this. It's, it's exactly made for this application. It's not made for that. So you need to redefine basically um, uh, what what components or how you um, uh, how you place the component when you plan to do such a uh, uh, skip firing on the engine. Another result uh, on the on the generator coupling. Again here, uh, same 50% load, no skip firing, and the same result for different scenarios. But you can also see that two different scenarios, they are uh, again, we have a different uh, difference of uh, 200 watts coming here, uh, simply by changing how you uh, how you do this 50% load with a different uh, uh, skip firing strategy. And again, the comparison to the 100% uh, load without uh, skipping. So uh, I think from that, I do not need to um, explain further. It needs to be simulated. We need to check the strategy. We need also to work, of course, with thermodynamics to realize uh, the right strategy and uh, power output. <clears throat> In another example, um, there is uh, for a seven cylinder inline engine uh, genset, there is uh, always the, the same uh, static torque or static uh, torque output of the engine uh, generated. And if we, uh, if we now look at the different uh, firing strategies, we see that uh, for different load, we can, with the correct strategy, uh, drastically reduce um, reduce the, the torque peak that arrives at, uh, at the damper and the same we can do uh, on, on the uh, rotor side, uh, on, on, on the shaft on the rotor side. So uh, by simply applying a different strategy, we can bring down the load. So from a, let's say, wrong strategy here, 27 uh, kilonewton meter, to roughly 17 uh, kilonewton meter. But if you just test this on the hardware, you might break the hardware and not uh, come up with a clever strategy. So what we also learn out of this, um, so we see here are, is the number of cycles given until um, the, the pattern repeats. And the conclusion out of this is the more cycles we take or the more the more time we give the, the engine basically to, uh, uh, to, to run smoothly, um, the, less, um, uh, the less load we generate on the, on the uh, power takeoff components. So therefore, this is a, a trend. I think we found this on most or almost all of our um, uh, simulations that uh, the more cycles you take until you uh, uh, you start the the, uh, the same pattern again, uh, the uh, the better it is in in terms of torsion vibration. 
And this is the point where you then return to your thermodynamics department and they might come up uh, with quite some different idea about this. So here it's, uh, it's the balance how you um, or what needs to be implemented and uh, how to protect the components. And this brings me to our uh, conclusions. So basically, uh, I think there is for many engines or many applications, there is no way out. Uh, we need to introduce uh, skip firing or cylinder cutout strategies to increase the efficiency. We should think how to uh, maximize the, the cycling uh from one uh to the to the next so as i just said uh from uh, to, to to have here the, the uh repetition of the pattern with a very long cycle um we need to uh, align hardware with the with the strategy and uh you should never do this without uh torsion vibration simulation so you need this to uh, to identify the correct uh, strategy and to uh, define the components properly. Properly, and if you have just uh, done your uh, misfire protection, then you are not 50% there. You are 10% there. You need really to look into this uh, dedicated topic. Uh, and I would say you could uh, or you should uh, skip the cylinders, but you should never skip the simulation. And with that, I would like to thank my, my co-workers, uh, especially uh, Andreas Dahlhammer, Claudia Mühlberger from uh, Geisinger. And yeah, thanks for your attention. Thank you.